welcome to Functions and Applications with Ontario Online Academy. The purpose of this video is to show you how to work through your course. Before we begin, let's look at some things that you are going to need. Firstly, we recommend that you have a calculator that's capable of calculating trigonometry. Secondly, you will need a large binder to store your notes. Thirdly, we recommend that you have a printer for printing off printable handouts. And lastly, we recommend that you have either a scanner or digital camera to submit your assignments and various achievement checks. This course is broken into seven units. Each unit is broken into various sections. In each section, you will have a lesson, homework, and an achievement check. We start each section by working through the lesson. Begin by clicking the printable note link. Next, print the printable note. Then, click on the lesson. Read through the lesson, watch the videos that apply to the examples, and write the solutions into the printable note. After completing the lesson, you need to complete the homework. Remember to check your solutions. If you have any questions when working through the homework, use the unit form, or contact your instructor directly. After you have completed the homework, you're ready for the achievement check. The achievement check is one or two questions on the section that gives you non-graded feedback to check your understanding of the section. After you've completed the first two sections of the unit, you are now ready for the unit quiz. The unit quiz is a 10 mark multiple choice quiz that covers the first two sections of the unit. After you have completed all the sections of the unit, you are now ready for the unit assignment. Complete the assignment using pencil and paper. Next, scan or take a series of digital photographs of your assignment and then submit your assignment for grading. After completing the assignment, you need to complete the unit test review. Now you're ready for the unit test. The unit test comprises of 40 multiple choice questions plus two or three short answer questions covering the entire unit. After you finish all the units of your course, you need to set up your final exam. Begin by finding a proctor. Your proctor can be anyone with a university degree who is a non-family member or friend that has a professional email address. Most students set up their final exam at their current school or local library. After you find a proctor, you need to print the proctor approval form, have it signed, and submit the form for approval. To write the final exam, you will need a computer and a reliable internet connection. The final exam consists of 80 multiple choice questions plus a series of short answer questions, and you will be allowed a formula sheet. Your proctor will be provided with the passcode for your final exam. It is your responsibility to print the allowed formula sheet. Your proctor will verify that your formula sheet matches the correct document. Now you're ready to begin your course. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't be afraid to add a picture to your profile so that we can build a better sense of an online community. Good luck with your course.